Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to another episode of Age of Sail from Ultimate Admiral. I was going to say Dreadnoughts, but no, it's Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail. This one is going to be happening slightly farther east than where we were initially. We're now south of Greece. We have two separate objectives. Blockade Durna. Um, Admiral, our expedition force is expected to arrive at the outskirts of Derna the next few days and lay a siege. We must stop the sea traffic and from uh, from and to the city, cutting off any attempt for supplying the defenders. Advance your fleet and conduct a blockade. There's currently a strong fleet anchored at the area, which is expected to attack your ships. This fleet must be destroyed. Okay, and the other one is Desert March. The plan for attacking Cyrene... Cyrenaica, I guess, and the city of Derna starts with a long march from Alexandria to the west along the caravan road of the North African coast. It's a very demanding and dangerous march for your army, mostly on desert, hard terrain. Fortunately, you'll have at your disposal local Mameluk mercenaries who know this route to Derna very well. We've also hired some Greek mercenaries, always useful with their fighting and rebellious spirit. I am much more interested in doing another naval battle, so we're going to blockade Derna. Now, I have since learned through the comment section, and thank you very much for that, guys, um, that I can actually do missions like these. And once this is done, then I can send ships off on these other missions, the side missions. So let's first play this one and rake in 60,000. That is the gold, anyway. Um, which is also going <laughs> to hopefully fix my funding. Because I have a lot of spending, and I just don't have as much funding. So let's fix that. This situation. We are coming in from the north. We need to blockade Derna, and there are quite a few ships at anchor there. There's a total of 8 ships by the looks of it. I can have a total of 10 ships. That is quite the number. So we're going to send in almost all of our usuals. Uh, we're going to send in the United States and the Chesapeake, Essex. Uh, actually, Essex is smaller than Anthony gun-wise. Anthony, Essex, Enterprise. Uh, we have troop ships, but we're not planning on doing a landing here. So I'm going to keep these in reserve. Siren, Quinn and Nautilus. That's the plan. Let's begin. Captain, the enemy has set sail on the sights of our fleet. Bring it. What's the situation? It is not clear what they have planned. They split their fleet, sailing to different directions. Okay. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Another significant part of the Barbary fleet is remaining at anchor. Okay. So, what do we have? And how do we take it down? Well, that's a long way. This is either a fleeing maneuver or the execution of an attacking plan. In any case, we must attack and destroy any ship staying to give a battle. To, uh, to give battle. Godspeed, Captain. Okay, before we rush in, what do we have? One, two, three, four smaller ships. And then the larger group. Significantly larger at that. First, we're going to take out the small boys, and then... So I'm first going to head, let's say, south. And then we're going to intercept the bigger guys. Alright, formation-wise, I want the Enterprise... Uh, no, the Enterprise. The uh, United States leading, Chesapeake after it, uh, Anthony after the Chesapeake, Essex after the Anthony, Enterprise next, Siren next, uh, and I'm going to keep Quinn and Nautilus as a sort of roaming force. Something like that. Alright, this is going to take me a while. I'm going to try and make best use of the wind when I'm trying to catch up to the rest of the fleet. So for now, I'm going to make use of it and head south. And then by the time that I want to actually speed all the way and intercept the guys, I should have a good wind at my back. Nautilus and Quinn. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to employ these guys yet. But we'll see about that. Considering what's coming at us, they might be useful because they're smaller ships. Hold on, where's the Chesapeake? Oh, you're falling in behind. Okay. 
Anyway, this is the first time that I actually have a, um, a line of ships here. And it looks good. It looks really good. So this is the United States coming at you. All right. How is their formation? Just two by two. Very good. Let them come in. Let them come in. Now, if I turn to starboard, or if I look at my starboard battery, it's not very good. Port side's much better because that's the side that the ship is blowing to. So I'm, I'm listening to starboard slightly, and that's boosting my ability to target ships on my port side. I am really curious to see what these are going to do. And are there any capture candidates? This one looks nice. It's the same class as the Asar Inusret, I think. Hmm. We'll see about that later. I first need to get rid of these smaller groups. And I need to blockade the, pl uh, the place, so I need to probably also sink the ones at anchor here. But that's concern for sometime later into this battle. Uh, Nautilus and Quinn, I need you guys to turn away from the enemy. Because we cannot hope to win an encounter like that. There are way too many. At least in a while. Uh, if I turn to starboard, though. See, they're not using a lot of sail, I think. Well... No, actually they are. They're using quite a bit of sail. It's just that these guys have smaller guns, the Nautilus and the Quinn. And because of that, they're less capable of running away. Or of uh, opening fire at greater distance. Alright, what do we have here? Are they in range yet? Almost. United States is waiting for the rest of the group to catch up. Battle line formation. I am at risk of getting pincered here. That's not good. Because the Nautilus and the Quinn could be caught between the groups over there and over here. That, however, works in two directions. Because I also have the United States coming in. And they might be able to sandwich the Huda Verdi and the Caravelle Ibodrum. Port side of the Nautilus is opening up. We're just going to go for straight round shot. No fancy stuff. Definitely not grape shot at this range. Just do damage. Quinn's guns. What are you packing? Six pounders. Nautilus, I think, is nine pounder. No, also six pounder. Yeah, they just don't really have the firepower for this engagement. We do, however. We do. Alright, it's time to come to starboard. Full sails. We're going to take maximum advantage of the wind. Race up to these guys and wipe them out. But I think right now it's more interesting to look at what's happening here. With the Queen and the Nautilus. Guys, try to make some speed, will you? Morale's good aboard Nautilus. Opening up against the stern or the, the trailing ship. United States opening up with her, what, with her bow turrets, her bow guns? Yeah, I think she has a few. Yeah, there. Building up speed. I want to try and outspeed these guys, even though the United States might not be the most suitable ship for that. And see if I can get some really good volleys in there. I completely misplayed the Nautilus and the Quinn here. These guys are getting attacked. Especially from the stern, which is their weakest armor. Okay, break formation and just run like hell. United States, starboard turn. I've misplayed this as well. I did not expect these guys to start turning as much as they did. And because of that, none of my ships can currently engage the enemy. Whereas this one probably can engage me. But it's time to let my 24-pounders work. There we go. 
And the Medi Ibadi is already taking a good chunk of damage. Only four penetrating hits though. And one cannon hit. No, these guys haven't taken as much damage as I was expecting. Speed this up a little. Oh, they're cutting across. Or they're trying to. Oh, crap. I'm being blown away by the wind. Come on. Work it. Okay, but my advantage. I'm just going to have to plow right through them. Because then I might have more firepower to bring to bear. Plow right through them. Broadside, starboard side of the USS United States. There we are. Guns are getting knocked out. Serious damage to the starboard armor. Now we're getting somewhere. And here, the rest of their group seems in a bit of a disarray. Which might be good for me. Because I can now use my line ships. United States and mostly Chesapeake to try and push through and do as much damage as we can. Artillery shock. Ah, you got hit by the Chesapeake as well. Now there are so many ships around here that I'm not confident about captures. I don't mind trying when the area is a bit more quiet, but for now it's probably not in my best interest to try and capture any. I just hope that I can punch through the armor here and sink these guys. This one is another artillery shock. Yeah, our starboard side is far worse off when you're looking at range compared to the port side. Oh dear. Can we head away from them? I know I'm trying to sail against the wind here, so it probably won't work, but they're just getting outmatched, completely overwhelmed. Oh, this is going to be a good salvo. Right through the bows. Serious damage to the Medi. Critical, even. She surrendered. Very good. What I can then do is dispatch a landing party from the Enterprise, although that kind of cuts her crew in half. What if I do it from the United States? 37. Ah, oh, we're going too fast. Never mind then. We have bigger business to tend to. More important business. Let's try and cut across their formation. Can the Essex launch? Just a smaller detachment. High speed. Ugh. So we need to slow down. And it is slowing down. There we go. Okay, you guys, capture that ship. That's going to be your objective. Nautilus and Quinn are trying to get outside of range. But they're struggling just as much as the Barbary, uh, the Barbary units are. Oh, here we go. Now we're encountering an actual more intimidating warship. Let's try and make a bit more use of the wind here. And at least cut across them. So I don't have to feel the full wrath of their cannons. In the meanwhile, the boys over here are rowing across. Trying to capture that ship before it becomes hostile again. Yep, there we go. United States opening up against the Assad in Nusret. And, on the starboard side, against the Levitia. Which I kind of forgot about. But you don't have to know that. Armor on all of my ships seems fine. The guys are about to arrive here. It looks like six of them, but there's actually 50 on there. Don't ask me how that works. There. Okay. Um, you. You're not particularly sturdy at this point. Normally you would be, but now you've taken a bit more damage. Oh, you're sinking? That's not good. 
Everybody fix that survival task. <laughs> Pump out the water, extinguish the fires. Deal with the most dangerous threats. Enterprise preparing to open up the starboard against Levitia. Even though her guns are not as good. I'm not sure if we're going to be capable of salvaging this thing. Because it... Well, we're, we have everybody on survival task. But is it enough? Ah, you're hitting my damaged ship. Crap. I could try taking over the lead ship. They don't have as many guys as the Kaplan Basli, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. I think I battered this thing a bit too much. Still, I'm eager to see if they can save it. Just to see if we can make that happen. Continually fire on this one. We're going to target the Bar Im Amik later. But we already have a nice chunk of damage out on the starboard side of the Nusret. So I want to continue pushing there. Ah. Well, that was great. Um, you came from the Essex. Just get aboard the Anthony for a while. Siren, please finish off Levitia, or Levitza. She's caused us a few too many troubles for now. Port side on the United States is taking even more damage. See, at this point, I usually don't know what to do. Do I need to try and cut right through them? Or not? Because it's going to turn into one huge mess when I try and do that. This thing is not looking too healthy. Nor is she capable of returning fire. If I do cut across now, I might make it work. Low sails? Or... Uh, well, low speed, I guess. I'm going to try and cut across. Use the starboard side against the Nusret as we're sailing through their formation. And in the meanwhile, take a nice chunk of damage at the uh, Bari Amik. Do we pick up everybody from our boarding party? I think we did. Now, why is this thing not dead yet? Is there any particularly good reason for that? Siren is struggling with it. I really need to work with the wind and learn how to do that. Because right now, I'm not really sure what angle I should be using, what way I should be facing, and how I best make use of it. At least the United States port side is not taking any more damage. But then again, I'm going to approach the uh, Asari in Nusret from the other side. And thereby, I'll not really have the same amount of impact. Wind change to the north. Okay. Could be good. Let's cut right through the Bara i Amik. Artillery shock. Good. From what I understand of the game, you kind of ignore armor the moment that you punch through their stern. Damn, this thing also has artillery shock. These frigates are fantastic. 
Unfortunately, the Chesapeake, the other frigate that I have, is a bit too far behind. Now, with the change of the wind, maybe I can get some of these other ships out. Although... No, actually I can't, because I need to turn north to make best use of it. You know what, this thing currently doesn't really add much to the battle, so I might at some point just get rid of it. Not too big of a fan of its performance so far. <laughs> we have a couple of survivors trying to make it to the other ship. Uh, they are getting attacked and taking some damage. Good. Now, several of these ships have taken a lot of damage. This one's wavering. This one seems to have flooding issues. Can we punch through the stern on the Asar? That'd be great. Of course, it's not going to do a whole lot for my wind usage. Port side opening, again, opening up against the Huda Verdi. Yeah, we've chunked them a little. I need to get me more frigates. These things are fantastic. Chesapeake, uh, you're not doing a whole lot back here. Let's have you detach. And kind of wait out the enemy here. Because we have an opportunity here to take him out. The Caravelli Bodrum. Oh, jeez, there's nothing left of this thing. Structural integrity is basically none. Th that one is next. You might need to go about that a bit slower. Oh, Enterprise took some serious damage to the port side. That's problematic. Udaverdi has sunk. Good. That's one less to worry about. We're going to finish off the Bari Amik. The Enterprise starboard battery is chunking the Kaplan, the Kaplan Basli. Oh, they've left. They've abandoned ship. Okay, good. Very good. Gaining speed. I want to prepare the broadside on the port side to uh, chunk the stern of the Nusret. What's the Enterprise doing? Not much. I guess they're waiting. Um, how is the Chesapeake? Because she had her own little war going. Taking out several of their ships. Ah, they're turning. Okay, fine. Port side, free to fire. Big chunks of damage are flying off of the Asari Nusret. Port side armor on the United States is not looking great, though. Mm, I would have to turn hard to starboard to try and only get the starboard armor to take some hits. Come on. Whoa, 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 Siren, what's happening here? Stop. Slow down. Come to a complete stop. I need everybody on survival duty. Because we're flooding and we're on fire. Essex, change formation. Where's the Anthony? Back there. Join the Essex. We're going to have to split the line here. Okay, the fire is out aboard the siren. That's good. 
Oh shit, United States is getting attacked from the stern. Port side armor is almost completely gone. What's that? Manual aim. No, I don't need that. Is the Enterprise wavering? Their morale is 5%. Uh, that's problematic. Let's do some grape shotting here. Maybe we can wound some of their crew. Oh, the Enterprise is in a terrible position. Her morale is zero. Get out of here. Chesapeake status. Oh, I had full. Kaplan Basley has sunk. Very good. That's the courtesy of the United States. Now the Asar in Nusret, which is also flooding. And they're trying to pump out the water. Hopefully unsuccessfully. Enterprise morale is a mere 3%. Lots of ships and shipwrecks at this point over here. Just look at how, how beautiful this game is. And now I keep just looking in awe at the design and the, the graphics. But it just keeps amazing me. Whoa, what the fuck? Their powder must have gone up. That was violent. That was pretty violent. Okay, my port side armor is not looking good. Enterprise. Try and survive. Just get your morale and your condition back up. How is my little Quinn? Oh dear. <laughs> Oops. Those ships that were at anchor aren't anymore. They woke up. Oh god. Um, right. And the Quinn's right in the middle of it. This is not what I was expecting. Quinn's morale is... <laughs> understandably terrible. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, I just snapped off the bow of the Essex. Is it worth trying to capture this thing? Let's try. Because their morale probably isn't that good. We can relieve the siren from anchor position. Enterprise morale is coming back. Excellent. Uh, I want to try grape shotting the Asar. But I'm not sure if she's going to pull a flooding on me. She, she already is flooding. Oh. Never mind then. We might be able to get some good chunks out of her sails, though. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But not with the United States. The United States is going to do flat-out damage. Suppose you're still... You're not in the middle of the formation anymore. Excellent. Excellent. She can do 12 knots. Close enough. Which might mean that the rest of them are having trouble keeping up. Very good. Uh, Nautilus. Join Chesapeake. That one's done for. Very much done for. And switch targets. The whole ship's a wash. Yeah, there she goes. Survivors are going to try and make it over to the Sedit e Midlili. -E -Mid 
Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. United States status. This guy just keeps pushing. Oh crap, I need to turn. Port Armour has had it. Hard starboard. <laughs> that was all over the place. Powder hit. Ooh. Come on, give it a rest. She's still flooding. She's still trying to pump out the water. Starboard armor on the United States can take it. Can your port armor say the same thing? I don't think so. Nope, they're starting to sink. Or at least flood. I'm not going to capture this. Even though it does look like a nice ship, I don't think it's worth it. Because the chance of this thing just flooding out is too severe. Ooh. You've got company, huh? Nautilus Chesapeake status. You still have the Chadid over there. Soon you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Artillery shock. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Nautilus, manual control, turn to port. Ah, we're fighting the wind again. There we go. I need to list over to starboard, ideally. Get some salvo out. Can we just cut them off? Would that work? 12 knots, 13 knots, near enough. Nautilus has taken almost no damage. The Caravelli Bodrum cannot say the same. Who are you? The Essex. My whole fleet's one big mess. Not even close to blockading the port anymore. But then again, there's nothing to blockade. Because everybody left. Starboard turn. Finish her. And prepare to fight four or five more ships. Because we are not done yet. <clears throat> this thing, however, looks like it almost is. Port and starboard armor is gone. How's the rest of the fleet? Where's the Anthony? All the way over there. Uh, the Anthony is virtuous, well, virtually undamaged. That's the Enterprise. Join up with the United States. The Enterprise can fall back. I don't mind if she leaves. Because she has taken a lot of damage. Port and starboard and hull. The Siren, I believe, is still trying to work with the Chesapeake. Or was supposedly. Until I told her otherwise. There's the Quinn rushing away. Chesapeake, don't take full advantage of the wind. I still need to disable the uh, Atisfis Sun. Nautilus... Damage to your rigging. Yeah, that's probably from the collision. Just leave the area. Same for the Quinn. Leave the area. Ah, there we go. She went down. There she goes. Sad that she had to go, but I could not capture that thing. It was too dangerous. Now we're just randomly shooting at survivors. Okay, now I need to make my way over there at best speed to try and help out the Chesapeake. Because she's about to have a rough day. Target this one. No? 
I'm targeting this one because she has already taken some structural integrity damage. And if I can isolate this one, I might be able to capture it. Ideally without taking too much damage to the Chesapeake. The Chilid Bomba. Sorry, Chedid. Not Chilid. Chedid. <clears throat> oh, and there's another one. Great. I'm also hoping that I can outrange them like this. At least for now. Because my guns are better. Better range. And definitely better firing capabilities. Um, and because of that upgrade, also a better spread, I suppose. So, less of a spread, in fact. Quinn's leaving, it's fine. I have to come about with the Enterprise, because she is... Oh, she's waiting for her group. Which is the Anthony. Understood. And the Essex. Right. You're also waiting for your group? In the form of the Siren? Right. Okay, Chesapeake. Uh, we have alongside on our starboard the Atisfis Sun. Try not to murder her entirely. Grape shot's fine for this situation. Because we already well, we bludgeoned her armor a little bit. So I'm hoping I can just eliminate some of the crew. Yep, yeah, that's about eight of them. Uh oh. We're doing some damage to the ship, but not to the crew. Quinn's retreated, good. 13 down, they're down to 164 now. More sail. Oh shit, here come the survivors. That's not good. Alright, new target. Chadid. That thing is going to have a particularly rough time coming alongside. No, it was not nearly as deadly as I thought it would be. Whoa! The siren just exploded! Captain Holmes Locke is dead. Commodore Alden Moore is killed. Commodore Cotton Priestley is killed. That must have been a hit to their powder. Okay, you're done for it. Shit. That was a loss. Oh, hold on. You guys did not join the Atis Fissan. That gives me opportunities. Chesapeake? This one's probably not a threat. Yeah, no you're not. Get over here. I'm trying to damage their port side armor more. But the starboard armor on the Chesapeake is also taking a beating. My plan is to damage their armor more and then fire a grape shot and then make sure the crew dies to try and execute a boarding. Although I might be able to execute a boarding as is. Because I have 447 crew members and they have 160. What? Where did we drop sails? That was not part of it. Careful. And capture it intact. Oh crap, they've stopped! Drop anchor. Here. Grab it before the survivors arrive. And maintain pressure with the grape shot. At short range, that must be murderous. It's not just the crew fighting each other, but it's also the grape shot, which is causing all sorts of spalling damage, probably. There's wood splinters flying all over the place. 
body parts too, I'm afraid. Yeah, off we go. Okay, welcome to the good guys. Um, the thing is, we appear to have some flooding issues. Do we need to drop more crew members off? High speed crew. I think we can operate this crew with fewer crew members than we have now. Where are these hoping to go? Because there's nothing out here. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's completely oblivious that the uh, United States was engaging anything. Situational awareness is fantastic. Okay, you guys, join the crew. Be quick about it. Because there's a whole lot more inbound. That's your target. We've got 40 people on survival tasks, 7 on sailing, and 33 on the guns. Which is good news, because it means we still have guns. Come on. Off we go. Artillery shock. Good. If I can also capture the, the trailing ship, the Zafir, I would like that. Uh, come on. Busy with ship survival. Location require crew to pump out water or extinguish fires. Yeah. About that. Oh shit, the starboard arm on the Chesapeake was toast. Need to turn around. Looks like this one picked up a load of survivors. Flooding is under control on the Fesson. Fantastic. The ship has taken some serious damage though. So I gotta be careful that I won't lose her. Because she can make a replacement for the... What was it that I lost? The Syracuse? One of my ships, anyway. <clears throat> Where the hell's the United States at? You guys even moving or what? Okay. I have my port side armor towards the enemy. Which is armor that is up to snuff. This armor can take a beating. That ship, however, cannot. I know we already hit her at some point, but she is almost done. Then again, it's not fair to fight a ship like that with a ship like this. So, oh, <clears throat> working as intended. If you're fighting a fair fight, something has gone wrong. Finish her. Oh, I think we have her. Yeah, she's dead. Ship eliminated. Now, it's going to be tricky to capture this one. 289 versus 280. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of elimination on the crew there. Expedited the sinking there. We're cutting right through that thing. Problem is, I cannot turn to starboard. I cannot turn right because I have no armor there. Or at least not enough left that I'm willing to chance it. There goes my captured ship, and here comes the United States. Albeit slowly. Because the wind is not favorable. Uh, Chesapeake. This one is probably too busy trying to damage control the ship. To actually use it as a fighting platform. How is this one going to handle itself, however? Port side, no, port side armor's not gone enough yet. Uh, what was that again? 
second. I'm going to target it, I don't know, there. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a bit more useful. I thought there was just some gimmick, but it's not. Because instead of... I'm reversing. Uh, <laughs> instead of having your guns fire all over the place, it seems like they're actually trying to hit that one target on the ship. Oh, I should have used this a lot more. The port side armor is taking a real beating. Keep it up. Switch to grape shot. Chesapeake, however, is also on the receiving end of fire from two different ships. So she, too, is starting to suffer. Repair bill is going to be hefty for this one. That was 20 crew members. <laughs> Good work. And for them to make it worse, the United States is here to provide assistance. At least assistance to the Chesapeake. Which is probably not the kind of assistance that these guys were expecting. Or hoping for. I would ideally have them surrender. Not even inflict a massive amount of damage on the ship, just surrender. Grape shot it. Because the more ships surrender, the more I can capture. And the easier it will be. Killed five. Sixteen. Just shotgun blasts. Slow. We're gonna box him in. Gotta be careful not to run the United States into the Chesapeake or in reverse. Look at that. That's grape shot right there. I think we just need to hit the deck. 240 crew members are alive. That's 40 less than there were not too long ago. Come on. They're wavering. Both of them are. Just make sure you don't grape shot each other while you're trying to capture it. Because that's what we're going to try and do, capture it. I think this affair is just about far enough as far as morale damage goes that I might be able to cap it. Bear to board. This one... Mm. It's more of an afterthought at this point. I mean, I can do it, so why not? Oh shit, they made it out. Crap. <laughs> Your day's about to get worse. Because we got more grape shots. <laughs> They're coming about. This is where this ship has an advantage because the Enterprise can, or the United States cannot do that. Cannot turn that quickly. Hold. Uh, target there. Shit. Come about. Where do you think you're going? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Try not to murder it too much. Because we still need to capture it. It goes better when they're still afloat. The whole boarding process is a bit easier. <laughs> Come here. Nom 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 nom. Come here. I think we might be too far away. Really? Aiming looks alright. 135 crew members aboard. For now. Come on. There we 
go. Center mass, if you will. We got 282 versus 123. And the morale seems broken. Crew shock. Okay. How's the United States doing? You guys didn't surrender. Which means that you likely stopped to take on survivors. Great. Great, that's not what I wanted. Board, 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 board. Stop. Oh, never mind, they surrendered. Uh, we're gonna send a greeting party over. Cap it. Means that the Chesapeake now no longer has as many crew members aboard. Okay, ship secure. This one's ours. Oh, they're about to pick up a whole bunch more survivors. That's not what I was planning. Shit. Round shot. Target. Just right there. Stop wasting your time on the survivors. Are they leaving? Really? Fine. Try it. Can I hit them? Hold. No, you can pick targets on the hull, but not on... Oh, no, actually, you can go for the sails. That'd be great. Can I shoot off their mid-mast? Oh, hi. <laughs> it's my new ship. Sails right into the middle of the battle. Uh, your priorities are uh, outstanding, but your timing is not great. <laughs> yeah, the rigging's taking a lot more damage now. Uh, Chesapeake. If you will. We have work to do. They're starting to flood. Chesapeake's morale is still 99%. These guys seem very unfazed about everything that's happened to them so far. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to come out at a profit on this one. Because, yes, I've completed the objectives. I've captured one ship. No, two ships so far. Three? Well, at least two that I'm aware of. Um, and... I have lost two... No, one ship. Uh, the repair bill is going to be unpleasant for this one. I should use the AI control a whole lot more. Oh, never mind. They're done. Yeah, the mast is gone. Ship's gone. There we go. Finish. So, situation. I have lost one of my ships. They have lost 13. I have captured two of their ships. I lost 379 crew members, but they have lost 2,038. Substantial. Apparently, they also had an army aboard. 360 infantry. And they lost it. I'm not sure which ship was carrying that, but I don't uh, mourn the loss of those guys. Now, let's see what the repair bill is going to be like. We now have the 60,000 from the mission, so we have a bit more in reserve. Uh, we can immediately spend that on the repair of the United States and to give her more crew. And also another upgrade. Uh, that's another 25% accuracy, yes. Chesapeake, yes. Anthony's repairs. Crew's optimum. Bit more crew members there. Essex need repairs. Very good. Uh, the Enterprise needs repairs. Yeah, a lot of them, I suppose. And a lot more crew, too. The Quinn. The Quinn, the Quinn. I think I'm going to sell this one. So let's go to the Admiralty. 
Um, that's a trophy ship. 31,000. Whoa. Nice. But here she is. That's 11,000. We're going to sell that off. Nautilus needs repair. Seventh, seventh rate? We're going to sell off the Nautilus. I'm going to go with some bigger ships today. Or, well, not today, but at least in the next mission. Uh, then we have the Fesson, which is a fourth rate ship of the line. Okay. Carrying 18 pounders. Not substantial. Lots of planking. 5,950? That means they're stronger than these things, at least in duration or in, in longevity. Hull, 1,400. If I look at this one, it's 1,800. We're going to keep this one. It'll be expensive, but we're going to keep this one. 68 guns. Add to fleet. Repair it. Throw a whole crew on it for 5,000. 5, now, I already got a couple of muskets. These ones, the Prussian musket 1750 and sword bayonet. As a thank you from Sweden for completing a side mission before. So I'm going to use those. And we can upgrade this thing with four upgrades. Nice. We're going to have to assign a captain. What's that? Boarding? Willpower. Yeah, I don't need this thing falling to pieces. And we still have some officers in reserve. How does this work, though? Because that's... The captain? I suppose that these things... Ah, they stack. They implement bonuses to the uh, efficiency of the ship. Right. So, with that in mind, efficiency 44, efficiency 39. What stat should I be looking at? Strength, dexterity, sailing and discipline, make good decisions, affects efficiency skill. Okay, so we need the highest guy when it comes to efficiency. Basically the smartest guy, which is this one. Amiris Hodgkins. You're going to be the captain. Then we have another officer. Um, this guy is going to impact sailing. So I need the highest there. That's going to be Emery Madison. Boarding operations. Oh, it just highlights it. Derp. That's perception. How well they can aim. Good lord, this guy's accurate. 100. Boarding officer. I could hire Jadita Millam. Seems to be really good at boarding. I'm just not sure if this is a good ship to use for boarding. Because yes, it'll carry a lot of crew. But at the same time, um, it doesn't turn very well. So sure, I'll put an officer on there but one from the reserve because I don't want to spend a whole lot on that and then finally the last officer uh, working on stamina affects movement weapon handling melee rowboat speed uh, what's the highest we got 46 I'll take the 46 I don't want to spend too much here okay so that's the officers and then time to spend some on weaponry upgrades for weaponry I want to have hard wadding, more damage. I also want to have less reload. I want to have less spread. And I want to have lighter guns. Jesus, that's 48,000. Maybe not all of them. Um, less spread. And lighter guns, so I can hopefully add more guns. Or, well, not more guns, but bigger guns. These are 18 pounders. That's the best gun we can fit. All right. Over here we got the Armstrong. Is that really the only thing? Yeah, it's the only thing we have. Do we need to research more? 
because that was coronet eight ship defense that's heavy hulls this is repairs rifling sword bayonet industry ah 12 pounder naval guns improved copper sheathing this is for upgrades isn't it streamlined hull advanced rig yeah so the one that i need isn't here i think screw it it's a game let's try this so i now might be able to fit better nine pounder guns yes indeed the ones that i have on here are the Armstrong guns. Uh, that's these. I can also fit the Desagulier gun. This is uh, seven, two minutes to reload in a thousand yards. And these things, better armor penetration, I think. How much armor pen? Let's say, oh, the armor, right. The one that I had on there was the Armstrong, that one. Where is it? It's the 18 pounder, nine pounder. Yeah, you have so many stats in this game. The armor penetration here drops off pretty quick. With the Woolwich gun, the penetration drops off as well, but not as much. When I look at the Desigliers guns, the armor penetration drops off gradually, but it also starts higher. So we're gonna upgrade that to this. It'll be expensive, but hopefully worth it. And the 18 pounders, we only have the Armstrongs there. So unfortunately, no further upgrade there. Upgrade. And here, we can fit six pounder guns. We currently have the Armstrongs. Um, and I can also upgrade those to the Desigliers. What am I looking at for armor pen? Yeah, there. At 250, it drops off to a little under, well, let's say 25. At 500, it drops off to 15. If I go for these, at the 500 mark, it was 15. It's now 20, 25 ish. I'll take it. And then we have the trophy ship, uh, seventh rate snow. I'll give that one to the Admiralty as a prize. Right, so our fleet has changed a bit. Some fewer smaller ships but some uh, nice additions, singular actually, in the form of the Atis Fessan, which is now the USS um, New Amsterdam. Renamed it. There we go. All right, we're going to be seeing more of the New Amsterdam in a future episode, which will be coming up in a few days. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for another episode.